Beken or Sagana Marua Road forms a significant section of the Great North Road connecting Tanzania through Namanga and Ethiopia through Moyale and traversing through Nairobi. This project traverses the counties of Moranga, Machakos, Kirinyaga and Nyeri and will start at Keno at the junction of B25 passing through the trading centers of Makutano, Sagana, Karatina before terminating at Maroa. The 84-kilometer project road will be constructed at a cost of 16 billion for a period of 36 months and is expected to be complete by June 2023. This project will be implemented in two sections. Section 1 is the dueling of the 48-kilometer stretch from Keno through Makutano to Sagana. It will also feature construction of three river bridges at Sabasaba River Bridge, Sagana River Bridge and Ramudambi River Bridge. An interchange will be constructed at Makutano as well as construction and improvement of trading centers and markets along the project road. Section 2 features dueling of the 36-kilometer stretch from Sagana through Karatina to Maroa. A 7-kilometer bypass will be constructed at Karatina as well as construction of three interchanges at Mataidi, Tomotomo and Maroa. This section will also have construction and improvement of trading centers and markets along the project road. The project further seeks to undertake engineering designs to provide additional lanes to the section between Fika and Kennel Town to address traffic congestion. In addition, an engineering design to upgrade the section between Nyeri Town and Maroa will be carried out. The road is a key flagship project that connects the central part of Kenya to the recently constructed Isiolo Marsabit Moyale Road. The Keno Sagana Marwa Road will play a key role in connecting the northern part of Kenya to the rest of the country through seamless flow of traffic. The Cabinet Secretary, Ministry of Transport, Infrastructure, Housing and Urban Development, Mr. James Masharia, and the Permanent Secretary, Professor Paul Maringa, and Kenha Senior Management, led by Director General Engineer Peter Mundinia, are leading the process to ensure that the contractors are fully set to undertake the works.